Howdy, howdy, this is Mr. Potter. So, this past weekend, uh, System76 came out with their Pop! OS. Uh, so it's a version of the Ubuntu operating system that's supposed to be designed for creators. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're actually going to create a uh, virtual machine instance of the Pop! OS. So I've got my Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and we're going to go ahead and create a new one. Uh, so we're going to create uh, pop OS and we're going to base it off of Linux in Ubuntu 64-bit um, we're gonna set our RAM I'm actually gonna set my RAM I have 16 gigs so I'm gonna go ahead and devote half of it to this VM um, and it says the recommended size of the hard drive is 8 gigabytes it actually needs a slightly more than 8 gigabytes so I'm actually going to give it 16 so we're going to go ahead and set up a fixed size so it's a little bit uh, better and we're going to go ahead and give it uh, 16 gigabytes and we're going to create this now so it looks like we're just finishing up here so now we should have our hard drive Alright, so now we have our Pop! OS. We're going to go ahead and start it. It's going to ask us uh, what we're going to want to do. So we're actually going to go to our downloads and get our Pop! OS ISO file and boot from that. And we'll start. So I'm running in full, full screen mode now. I'm going to go ahead and select English. I'm going to click on the Try or Install Pop! OS. Now this is going to start us off on a, uh, a live image of Ubuntu and it'll give us the chance to uh, install the Pop! OS. So I'm going to go ahead and try and install it on our VM here. By the way, while it's installing, um, on my uh, native machine, I'm actually using uh, uh, 1604 LTS. Uh, I'm, the uh, machine I'm using is actually a, a five-year-old laptop from uh, System76, but uh, it, it worked very well for me. So here you can see I'm in the... Uh, the virtual image here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the icon here that's going to install Pop! OS on this VM. So we're going to go ahead and continue because I'm choosing English. Um, go ahead and download the updates. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this because why not? thing is, if you're going to be doing a lot with media, you really should have access to the Flash MP3. I know those aren't free and open, but uh, they, they certainly do make the world go round. We're going to go ahead and erase the disk and install Pop! OS. It's going to be using the version that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and use the central time zone. I'm going to use US English. So we're going to hear a little bit about uh, the Pop! OS. It's designed for people who use their computer to create, whether it's complicated professional grade software and products, sophisticated 3D models, computer science and academia, or makers of working on their latest invention. The Pop! user interface stays out of the way while offering extensive customization to perfect your workflow. Built on Ubuntu, you have access to vast reaches of open source software and development tools.
All right, installation has finished, and we're going to go ahead and restart our VM right now. Here we are, unleashing our potential. Welcome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use a typical English. Uh, I'm going to leave location services on. Sure, why not? We're going to put it in the central time zone. Uh, connect my online accounts. Go ahead and connect my Google account with this real quick. Password. And I'll go ahead and allow GNOME to access this. Right. There's a picture of me. We'll go ahead and set encryption on our home folder. Go ahead and set up a password. Uh, So let's start using it. All right, so here's my image. Let's go ahead and log in. Of course, now the thing to remember is that because we are using a VM image here, that this is going to be running a little bit slower than it would on native hardware. So we're going to go in over here to activities and see what we've got. So I've got my Firefox web browser, I've got files, terminal, and show applications. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got solitaire books, calculator, calendar, cheese, that'd be good. I'll test that out in just a bit. Uh, contacts, documents, files, Firefox, input method, LibreOffice, Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, Writer, Mayong, Math, Minds, Music, Photos, Rhythm Box, Settings, uh, Software, Software and Update, Software Updater, Startup Apps, Sudoku, Sundry, Terminal, Text Editor, Transmission, Utilities, Videos, and Weather. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with Cheese. Let's see how it works with my camera. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see if I can uh, get my uh, webcam to work. So if I pass it through, let's go ahead and restart Cheese. Uh, I'll do that later. Okay. Let's go to Activities. We're going to go ahead and run this. Let's see if I did the camera correctly this time. There we go, so we've got the web camera going. Again, because it is a VM, it is running a little bit slower than usual, but I can go ahead and take a picture of myself. There we go, there's a picture. Uh, I should see that down here. We'll take a short little video. Tick tock, tick tock. So, three, two, one. And so I should have a little video here. If I go ahead and double click on that, it should open it up in my videos. Maybe. Let's see if we can get this to do. Again, I'm not going to have the best resolution. Okay. 
So again, issues because I'm running it in a VM, that might be a problem. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, seen enough of my ugly mug. Um, some of the things that I was hoping to see on here, let's see, I've got two desktops that I can switch back and forth between. So I might have to do a little bit more experimentation to see uh, what I can do with this. I've got a scan, but I don't have a scanner attached to my laptop right now. Uh, transmission so I can take care of uh, BitTorrent uh, type files. Let's see what I have in my utilities here. Um, archive backup. Okay, so that's just... Alright, so I guess software and updates. Let's see what other types of software packages are already here. So I could look at any of these from canonical, community maintained, proprietary, or copyright restricted. Um, other software. I can take care of up other zesty updates. Okay, so some of the things that I'm I'm hoping to see uh, a little bit more development in here. Um, I would like to see some more coding options here. So I'm not sure what type of IDE we could have in here. Maybe we could have Eclipse in here. Maybe we could have some other type of uh, native IDE. Let me do a real quick command line here. Uh, so. So Python works pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and do a test.java. So test. So Java is not installed by default. So uh, let's go ahead and do open JDK eight. Actually, let's do nine. No, let's do eight. So I'll go ahead and install Java on here, and then make sure Java works. Um, would be nice to see a IDE in here, but for right now, I mean, obviously Python works right out of the box. It should be fairly straightforward to to get Java up and running. That's what we're going to test real quick. Okay. And we got our hello world out of here. Probably could do the same thing with uh, G++. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so. so let's see if we can get this to work. Include uh, IO stream and using namespace standard. Turn zero. So let's see if G works out of the box. And we did. We got our hello world. Cool, so uh, you have the options of uh, working with uh, programming right out of the box, uh, except for Java, just takes a little bit of running. Uh, let's see if GIMP is installed. No, GIMP's not installed, but it should be fairly easy to do it, so if you're going to be doing uh, media editing that way. Um, I personally like using PTV for video editing. Um, you can install that as well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Let's see, I like, right now I'm using GTK Record My Desktop. Um, yeah, so I'd have to, let me see if I can get that done here. 
So then of course I can use that to record media like I'm doing from my native hardware. So all in all, um, just out of the box really is done more from the programming side um, than the artistic side. But of course there are lots of open source ways to edit uh, media uh, from different forms um, and it seems like they've got it set up pretty straightforward so it can be installed relatively easy. So uh, once again this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.